hashtag reading RIP JK Rowling, as we said earlier, has been trending on Twitter. Harry Potter author has not died, is the latest victim of cancel culture. It comes um, because of her new book. It is said to feature a male serial killer who dresses in women's clothing. It's divided opinion and, of course, caused a storm online. So, let's talk about this with Rose of Dawn, who is a trans activist and YouTuber, who says J.K. Rowling has done nothing wrong. Broadcaster and politician George Galloway, who says cancel culture is intellectually suffocating. And journalist Benjamin Butterworth, who says this is people being heard in a way they weren't previously. Benjamin Butterworth, I wonder if you could just explain first why J.K. Rowling is in this mess. Well, J.K. Rowling has been tweeting derogatory comments about trans people for some months now, some years she's been suggesting her anti-trans views. And she has reportedly her new book under uh, a male name indeed, uh, features a character who dresses as a woman in order to kill. And a lot of people, myself included, are incredibly worried about how the, that smears trans people. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You said a, a man who dresses as a woman in order to kill. Yeah. Not a yeah. transgender person. Uh, according to the reviews, this person is a transvestite. The truth is that for a lot but, of but people... That's, but a transvestite is not uh, necessarily a a transgender person, but you're saying this is an example of hate against transgender people, even though it's not a transgender person. I am indeed, because in a lot of people's minds who are not familiar with the distinctions of trans people with these issues and may have seen J.K. Rowling's other derogatory comments against trans people, this will be seen as a way to debase them. This will be seen as an insult to all trans people, the idea that we should be afraid or nervous but Benjamin, of somebody... Uh, with respect, versus... you, you haven't read the book, have you? No, nobody's read the book besides you, a handful you, of... So, and do you support the R.I.P. J.K. Rowling hashtag? I mean, I think if there's any sense of the people among those hashtags that were saying, you know, death threats or that she should be something like dead, that is clearly unbelievably unacceptable. What and, would you uh, like to happen to her then? Well, what I would like is for people to not buy this book, for people to challenge J.K. Rowling on her views that are nasty and derogatory You're to trans people. people not to buy a book that you haven't read. Nick Cohen who is a top uh, liberal left writer, has written a piece mm -hmm. for The Spectator, J.K. Rowling's latest novel, which he's read, is not remotely transphobic. If you actually read it, it doesn't have any transphobia in it. So, again, I ask you, you want to have a book cancelled that you have actually not read? Piers, you also have not read the book. I've and read so Nick Cohen's full review, which goes uh -huh. into great detail, which means that actually all the premise for why she has to be RIP'd is actually based on a, a complete load of nonsense. And yet, let's be clear about this. What it is, is about whipping up hatred and concern and fear... No, which is you're very the one whipping up the hatred. And all those who have been contributing no. to the RIP J.K. Rowling, they're the ones that want her dead, cancelled, shamed, vilified, finished for writing a yes. novel that none of you have read, which, according to Nick Cohen, in his lengthy review, is not remotely transphobic. And, by the so way, it doesn't you, have a transgender again, character again I ask in you, it. How can you want to cancel something and shame something? somebody and bury them and have them RIP'd on Twitter for something you haven't even read. Look, first of all, Piers, J.K. Rowling has not been cancelled. The myth of cancel culture is not alive and well. That's the only thing that's dead today. If she'd been cancelled... You just said she you wanted people not to buy the book. You just said, television. Benjamin, you wanted people not to buy her book. Why? That's Given right. it's not remotely transphobic. Because she has a character in there which is said to be a person who dresses a, you as a woman. You haven't read it, have you? And neither have you, so you can't be sure of that. I've read and a very lengthy is... review here which completely yeah. repudiates the whole point of your position. Let me bring in George Galloway. George, yeah. this is the problem here, isn't it? This cancel culture. Uh, this is a perfect illustration where people have tried to shame, destroy, cancel, ban, boycott. We had Jedward, of all people, calling for the book to be burned. They hadn't read it either. No-one's actually read the damn thing. The irony, of course, is that this will put it to the top of the bestseller list. The book they try to ban always ends up there. Sixty years ago, Alfred Hitchcock made a movie called Psycho. It's rather a significant movie. 
and the murderer in it, Norman Bates, didn't just dress up as a woman, he dressed up as his dead mother. No one uh, at the time sought to cancel him for that because murderers come in all shapes and sizes, including bra sizes. You get people that dress up, you get people that are women, people that are men who kill other people. It's fiction. And when you're in the territory of hating someone for a fictional character they have drawn in a book that you have not read, I'm afraid it's you that is deeply in psychiatric territory. OK, not let's, the speak, let's talk to Rose of Dawn, because you are a, a trans activist. Um, mm. In the review that Piers references, Nick Cohen says transvesticism barely features. When it does, nothing is made of the fact that the killer wears a wig and a woman's mm. coat, not a dress, as a disguise when approaching one of his victims. Uh, as a trans activist, do you find depictions of somebody as a transvestite wearing a woman's coat and wig offensive? Of course not. People are in the right to be able to dress whatever way they want. We know that a transvestite isn't the same as a trans person. However, there is this kind of growing rhetoric from within the trans activist movement that there is this umbrella of various different gender identities, gender expressions, and that sometimes does include transvestites which have absolutely nothing to do with actual trans people. That is people who deal with gender dysphoria and transition in order to deal with it. That's what a trans person is by definition. A transvestite has nothing to do with that. The, just going back to the book itself, it, uh, from what I understand, it's simply just one line. Mm. And it's, it's not even necessarily referring to the killer as a transvestite. I think it just mentions that the killer at one point wore a wig and a woman's coat. So that there is no trans rhetoric coming out of this book at all. And I take issue with Ben saying that J.K. Rowling has been um, issuing a lot of derogatory rhetoric around trans people. I haven't seen her using any kind of slurs. I haven't seen her saying anything which is incredibly problematic to the point where she needs to be removed from public life. She's someone who probably the vast majority of the British public would agree with. Like, for example, the idea that there are only two biological sexes. I mean, that's something which we used to take in, take advantage of until current year, where it's being pushed onto us that this is more of a spectrum or a social construct, which is absolutely nonsense. If people really look at what J.K. Rowling is saying, they would see that all of this outrage is simply a way for activists to kind of feel important. They want to have a target, and it just so happens to be, in this case, it is one of the one of the richest women in the world. Now, she has been um, a victim of cancel culture. There have been people calling for her publisher to drop her. There have been calls on social media to effectively remove her from the platform. Even a poster in Edinburgh train station was removed, which just said, I love JK Rowling simply because someone was upset at the idea that people might admire her. Yeah, and the point this is, is, the point is Benjamin Butterworth, I don't even like J.K. Rowling. I've had loads of run-ins with her. She was leading the cancel culture. She, she, she was joyous when I got abused on national TV in America. I've got no reason to defend her, but I do defend her right to free speech. And I would ask mm. you this, given that you want her cancelled over a book you haven't read, which you clearly have misunderstood anyway, uh, out of interest, if she was to write... If I was to write a novel, tomorrow about... I, I interview real-life serial killers of all shapes and sizes and genders. If I was to write a novel tomorrow, is your position that I, was not, I would not be allowed to make it a transgender killer? Because that doesn't seem very equal to me. If your battle is for equality, surely criminals in novels could be transgender. Or are you saying it's one rule for people like me, so we'd have to be a white, straight guy like me, but I couldn't actually have a transgender killer. What is your position? The point is that when so few people know about trans people, when they're so unfamiliar and so rarely covered in books like this, the idea that the only supposed representation, as most people will interpret it, of a trans person is that they are a killer who dresses as a woman in order to kill. So just to, just to clarify, what you're saying... Yeah, OK, not but to answer my question then, we could never have a transgender killer in a novel. Is that what you're saying? 
Well, the fact, the idea that they dress as a woman in order to kill, as is reported, is the problem, not the idea in no, itself. No, I just asked you a very straightforward question, which you're trying... For whatever reason, you're trying to avoid the answer. The, the question's very straightforward. Could I write a novel with a transgender killer? There are millions of transgender I, people it, in the world. If, if you were to do that, I would fear it would be to whip up the same oh, hatred... Okay. And so I wouldn't be allowed to, to, but if I was to write a novel which had a person like me doing all the killing, you would find that absolutely fine. You are not as unfamiliar to people. There are lots of cis, rich, white men, that's men yeah, born don't as call men... Don't me cis, I'm not actually a cis, I'm just a, I'm a white guy. You can just call me a white guy. <laughs> cis okay, is language sure. that you use, uh, I don't even understand. White man. Uh, people George Galloway, let me bring in George Galloway. Galloway. Here we have it, George, don't we? This is the bottom line with, with this Go culture, with it. this culture war, is that... As long as I write I a series... As long as I write a... No, no, Ben, I think you've had your say. Uh, George, if, we, if I was to write a novel and the killer looks like me or you, right, is a straight white guy, that's fine. But if I was to actually make the killer a transgender killer, and there are millions of transgender people in the world, that is unacceptable and I would have to be shamed, vilified and cancelled. Well, can people see the danger of policing fiction, uh, telling novelists what mould they must put their characters in, uh, what arc uh, of narrative they must have because they might offend uh, an activist like Benjamin Button. It's unbelievably Benjamin ridiculous word, and dangerous. He's Benjamin Butterworth. He's he's, I, don't oh, ben. I don't think he's getting younger Sorry, as he ben. gets older, clearly. Well, <laughs> it is, it you is, may have a point. It is utterly dangerous. That's my point, Susanna. Yes. No, I, I don't. Listen, I totally agree. I've got a whole book coming out about all this. And I hope, Benjamin, I hope you read it. You're in it. So I hope you read sure. it. Oh, yes, well, you're in Piers's book. Because you might learn that the best way to preach about tolerance is to show a vague semblance of tolerance yourself. Because that's the well, problem. Really... The problem with the woke well, brigade yeah. is you're never remotely yeah. tolerant. What you want to do is have R.I.P. J.K. Rowling trending. Because you, because yeah, yeah. you don't like a yeah. book you haven't read. I mean, so it's preposterous. Anyway, we've got to leave it there. Uh, guys, thank you all very much indeed. We really appreciate the debate.